Hello everyone, my name is Egidio and welcome to our video about the Project 3, the Mayo, from Harvard's course CS50's Web Programming with Python and JavaScript. This video is an overview about the project, so we'll talk about the development and how to achieve the specification required. I'll use my project as an example and I'll talk about some problems that I had while developing. The idea of this video is to share this knowledge in a way that you can develop your code by yourself. And click on the page on the description to get the three steps you can take to become a web developer without a degree. In the last project, the e-commerce project, we had to work with a lot of technology. So we had to work with Python, we had to work with Django, we were creating the, 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 the functions in the views.py file. So it was in double quotes, our APIs. Uh, but, but if you remember, we had to work with a lot of routes, a lot of paths to access the information, to view the listings or to bid. But for this project, we have to work only with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. You can see here that all the functions we do here, we, we check the inbox, we check the sent, the archived files, if we write an email, we are in the same URL. So we have a single page application and all the functions are made or called using JavaScript. So the APIs we use are already built in the distribution code and we need to use them to bring our project to life. So let's check the first topic of the specification. The first topic is to send an email. So if we go here, you can see here that it's a form. So we can put the, the, the email you want to send, the subject and the body. And when we click on the submit button, the send mailbox is loaded. So we need to implement the new email part and then we need to send the page to the send mailbox. In the JavaScript file, when we click on that button, this function is called the send email. And you can see here that this function basically captures the information. So we captured what we typed as the recipients, the subject and the body. And we put this information in the request. It will go to this API using the post method. So we need to have a body. And then we capture the JSON of the response and save in this variable called result. So we can put it in the console. And also we can load the sent mailbox. You can see here that we have these two lines here to clear the local storage and this return false. Well, first of all, if we remove the local storage and we send, and then, we, then let's update the, the JavaScript, we press Ctrl and F5 button. So let's write two emails, E1, and you can see here that it loaded, it appears here, and let's write a new one called E2, and let's send it. Well, if we check the console, we can see here that this last email was sent successfully, but it's not shown here. The thing is, it looks like the browser doesn't refresh the response. So as we've loaded this sent mailbox recently, it seems like this request from the load mailbox to capture the, the sent mails that we will talk later is not actually requested. So the browser just reuses the same previous response as the real one. So if we refresh the page, so you can see that Here's our email. It was sent successfully and now it appeared in our mailbox. So to force the page to reload that information, I put this command to clear the local storage so that it's impossible to reload that this list of mails. It needs to request again for this information. And for the last part, the return false. When you work with a form, so we had a form here to send the email. If you don't put anything, or if you put a return through 
since this function is being called when submitting the form, if you keep like this, or if you put nothing in the end of the function, the, the form will understand that it needs to go to a specific path. It needs, it needs to go to the href URL or to a, a certain address. But if we do like this, we refresh it. Let's write a new email. You can see that, well, here's the problem. It, it's loading the inbox page. But okay, the mail was sent. The real problem is that we send we send the email, but the inbox page is loaded in the end. So to avoid the form to to reload the page, we need to put the return false. So we are saying, okay, okay, form, you don't need to go to any endpoint. We are already doing the function here in the JavaScript. Okay, just the return false. When we talk about the mailbox, we have the inbox, we have the sent, and we have the archived. These functions are called here in the beginning of this file, and it's the same function that is called. The difference is the argument inside of the function. So when we go to the function, you can see here that the API is responsible for filtering the mail that will be displayed. So here we will bring all the emails for the inbox or if they sent mails. And then again, we capture the, the response, converts it to JSON, and then we call this result as a variable called emails. We will put it again in the console, and, and then we use this method. For each email inside the emails, you execute this function to show email. This function, is responsible for creating these cards. So this is a card, this is another card, this is another one. And you can see here that there are a lot of definitions, but basically we have blocks here. One block to create the, the recipient, for example, this part of the box. We have another one to bring the subject. So these, these are the subjects. Another one to bring the timestamp, the date, here 